What are your thoughts on how we can get past politics and self-interest to truly collaborate as a civilization to take these challenges on? We continue to plunge from one humanitarian crisis, man against man, man against nature, man-made disasters, armed conflict, and especially because international cooperation is lacking. The absence of intra-independence. I respect you, you respect me, and we were joined together in working for, co for regional commons, for global commons, only in that event. When we are wired up and interconnected, can we find a recipe for the fragilities and insecurities that we are facing today, so as to man up and face them correctly. You suggest that we have to have a strong rules-based order to be able to collaborate and take these challenges on. How can we do that? There is no regional water and energy community which we have aspired to for years and years and years. The Europeans, after two devastating world wars, finally came to the coal and steel community. These are policies to which we have to commit so that citizens become water citizens, become food citizens, become agents for change. How can we do a better job of reaching out and harnessing the energy and the idealism of young people? that we should start investing in the most vulnerable groups, and that is obviously the young and their uh, right to uh, uh, job opportunities. So I would uh, emphasize the importance of youth, particularly of women, who are better educated than the men and yet still are lagging behind for so-called traditional reasons.